Hello guys and welcome to this video on command line arguments. What are command line arguments? When a program is executed from the command line, arguments can be passed into it. After the name of the program to execute, the arguments are separated by spaces. All arguments are strings, not integers. So as you can see, we got, this is a screenshot from the command line. I type, I have a program I wrote called argtest, and I say dot slash argtest, then space argument one, space argument two, space argument three. So in your command line, after you type the name of your program you want to execute, you can put space and then insert an argument, space another argument. Those are your command line arguments. Like I said, they're strings and not integers, so if you want an integer input, you're going to have to convert the string argument input to an integer. So, arguments on the stack. When the program is executed, the arguments are automatically loaded onto the stack. The top item on the stack is the number of arguments. This is always at least one. The next items in the stack are pointers to zero terminated strings starting with the path then of each individual argument. So at the top of the stack we will have argc which is just an integer. Then we'll have a pointer so this would be the address to a zero terminated string that is the path and then we'll have the first argument the second argument dot 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 all the way to in arguments. So the path is technically the first argument. Um, and arg1 is technically the first, or I mean the second argument, then arg2 is technically the third argument. However, the operating system provides path, so arg1 is the first user defined argument. This is why argc is 1, even if no arguments are specified, because the path is always specified automatically by the operating system and it counts as the first argument. So as you can see this line command line we wrote um we we type this in into the command line dot slash arg test argument one argument two argument three in this case arg c would be four path would be it would be a pointer to a string dot arg test these are zero terminated strings then um arg1 would be um a pointer to argument one a string this is argument one then the next a string to argument two then a string to argument three so th here is just a short code that will display the argument count so this code will display the argument count what i do is i first pop rax you can see that here then so that pops the um arg count off the stack then i print val rax this is a macro i wrote if you download the latest version i have the link right here of linux 64.inc that um, is just something i've been writing as we've been working on these tutorials um that has print val in it which will print um a number so I say print val rax, then print new line, then exit. So when I pop rax from the stack, then print val, that will print the argument count because the argument count is always at the top of the stack by default. So here's another program I wrote. I have the link to it here. This is called arg test. So arg test, um, so get the source code, save it as argtest.asm and compile it and just play around with it to get a feel how arguments work. This program will display an argument count followed by the arguments inputted into the program. So as you can see if in the command line we type dot slash argtest hello space my space name space is space Johnny it will say argument six. Argument number one is dot slash argtest your path Argument number two will say hello, then number three is my, number four is name, number five is, and number six Johnny. Just go look at that code. It's not very complicated. Um, you should be able to understand it. And so then the next question you may have, why do we have arguments? What's the point of them? So arguments allow the user to input data into a program without the program requiring a user interface. So you don't need the code user interface yourself within the program because you can just have the 
user pass the arguments as command line arguments and then the program will take those command line arguments and work with them. This can also be used to link the output of one command line application to the input of your, your command line application. So notice in this here how the output file list from the ls command is fed into our test. So here I type ls and you, as you can see this lists the files. So the files I have in this folder is argtest, argtest.asm, argtest.o, and linux64.inc. So if I say dot slash argtest ls and I run the ls program, my arguments is this file list. So I'll say arguments5 first is dot slash test argtest, um, argtest.asm, argument4, argtest.o, then arg5 linux 64.inc so if let's say I wanted a program that would manipulate a list of files um, I can insert that list of files from the ls command so I can link the output of the ls command to the input of um, a program I write for the command line interface